Hi, and welcome to Catrin Figures. And today is technically not the day of all days. It is Thursday, but I'm not sure if you can realize or not. But uh, I'm actually suffering from a touch of con crud. So a little public service announcement before we get into our polls and everything for this video. Do not forget your hand sanitizer when you go to a convention. Otherwise, uh, you'll end up stuck a row in front of someone who's coughing and uh, end up sounding like me. So, yeah. All right. So, first off, before I show my polls for this week. Um, you don't even sound that bad. I'm not coughing right now. So, you know. Hmm. So, first off, before I show my polls for this week. Uh, I did win a, a sketch from an artist on Instagram, so I want to shout him out uh, for a follower giveaway. He uh, did this sketch for me of Starfire. So this is from Jonathan Grimm Art on Instagram. So that's at Jonathan, and then Grimm is G-R-I-M-M. So check him out. I also have his information all linked at my Instagram. So definitely, definitely love this piece. She is going to be well cared for here. This is her new home. Mm -hmm. So the reason why everyone uh, is here is for my polls. So a much smaller week than uh, normal, but um, still some decent books in here. So let's get right on into it, shall we? First off, starting off with DCs like we normally do, Nightwing the Annual Issue 1. This is the first annual. There's that. Second is Red Hood and the Outlaws, the second annual. Love the fact that uh, Roy's back in the book for this issue. Really love that. Also, I did pick up the Batgirl Joshua Middleton cover for issue 26. I do really love his covers. Not gonna lie. Next, I did pick up Batgirl the annual. Second annual. Um, I keep going back and forth whether or not I actually like this run or not. But uh, this is an annual where she's dealing with her brother. So definitely interested in that. Also, with all the annuals, we also have... Looney Tunes crossing over with DC again. So this is Lex Luthor and Porky Pig. Got this cover. Next was Harley Quinn and Gossamer, the one shot. So I picked up the Amanda Connor cover. I also picked up the variant for it. I did have to go to another shop in order to get a bunch of the variants. So yeah, I haven't rebacked and boarded them yet. Don't judge me. Next, this is probably the one out of out of the uh, Looney Tunes that I was the most excited about, and that's Catwoman, Tweety, and Sylvester, the one shot. So Catwoman is going to be teaming up with Sylvester in order to take down Tweety Bird, and uh, Tweety Bird's going to get a hero of his own. So uh, we'll see where that goes. I also picked up the variant for it. This really reminded me kind of of like Darwin Cook-esque, especially Catwoman's face right there. Kind of gave me that vibe. Might just be me. Really, really loved it. Had to get it. Next is the Joker and Daffy Duck. Definitely gonna be a solid read there. And I did pick up the variant for it. So one of the big books for this week, that is Scarlet issue one. So this is the, I believe it's the second book to come out of Bendis' new Jinx world for DC. So Scarlet. And I also picked up the variant for it. So I believe it's just a continuation of the other Scarlet stories, so we'll see. Uh, moving on into Marvel for this week, I picked up The Hunt for Wolverine Dead Ends. She won. I just picked up the variant for it. It was list price. I thought it was the best cover. Gonna check it out, see what I think. Next, I'm not the 
biggest Venom person, but Web, Web, Web of Venom, uh, Venom issue one came out, and I was like, I kind of need to check this out, um, really interested, so it might be, might be cool, might be worth a look. Uh, also, I picked up Deadpool Assassins, the variant cover. I just love this damn cover. So, I had to get it. Mark Mark and I are both Deadpool fans, so. Definite. Had to get it. <clears throat> Alright, so moving on into the indies for this week, I picked up Red Sonia issue 20. We all know I love my Red Sonia. Very happy that they changed cover artists. From what was going on issues and issues ago. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, you know, just ask Silver Age Dave, ask any number of people who were not very happy with the covers that were coming out. And last but certainly not least, I picked up Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Shattered Grid Issue 1. So Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Go Go Power Rangers have both been really solid reads. Sh this Shattered Grid storyline has been awesome. If you are not currently reading Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Kyle Higgins run, and you are a Power Rangers fan at all, please pick up the trades for it. It will not disappoint you. I promise. So that is it for this new week in comics. Uh, do me a favor and give me a like if you like this video. Comment below and tell me some of the cool things that you picked up at your local shop. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel for more comic book content. Uh, we do have a bunch of videos that will be coming out this next weekend. But, uh, you know, meant to film a bunch of things earlier. I did lose my voice. Con cred, unfortunately. I am feeling a lot better, though. So I've got a haul coming up from Whorehounds, Indianapolis, and a couple other things coming out of that. So, yeah. Until next time, I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.